Problem. The Knights Guards are slow, sluggish, and generally not very good at catching up. Solution. Instead of making them go after moving targets, we will simply make them defend static targets, people on the hook, and generators. This very simple and frankly dumb idea is the cornerstone of this build that works far better than it has any right to considering some of the weird perks that you're gonna see in it. Uh, the first part of our puzzle is the Cold Seal Manacles and the Map of the Realm. With these two add-ons, we introduce two Jailers into our guard rotation. Jailers are the ones with the biggest detection range and that travel for the, f the fastest and for the longest when looking for survivors. And with the Map of the Realm, we also increase the range of all of the guards to make sure that they always find survivors. And our plan is going to be very simple. We're going to hook one person between three gens and simply sit right there. With Say the Best for Last, a perk that makes you recover faster after every attack, we will make unhooking very, very difficult and leaving that area next to impossible. And even if survivors are smart and they throw the obsession at us and try to use some anti-camping perks, we're going to make doing gens far away from us and especially close to us almost impossible. First, Overcharge, a perk that will make gens regress a little bit faster over time, which will definitely happen if you defend them with guards, and will also make a difficult skill check appear when a generator is touched after you kick it. Now, this generator uh, a skill check, if fail, will produce a loud noise notification, which will attract knights, even if the knights somehow don't see the generator directly, loud noises will attract them. So with this, it can actually become a little bit nasty. On top of that, we also have the Sadako perk, Merciless Storm, which will make a flurry of difficult skill checks appear near the end of a generator. Now from afar, it's not very difficult, but from up close, when knights are everywhere and guards are going up and down, it is very difficult to hit all of these skill checks for the most part. And the final piece of the puzzle that ties the previous two perks together is the very unusual unnerving presence from the Trapper. This is a perk that makes all skill checks within your terror radius harder, and it makes overcharge an unnerving presence very difficult to deal with, with every other thing going on on top of it. So the plan is very simple. Hook survivor, camp. Survivors will try to unhook, and no matter what they do, they can almost never beat you, even if they play it really well, and you're going to see some examples of that today. We went on a surprising 13 win streak, and even then, the survivors that beat us were just a little bit lucky and just had the perfect build against this, and even then, they still had to fight really hard. So, I somehow think that this is one of the knight's strength, which is really sad, because this playstyle is extremely boring. But the devs somehow have created a killer that is very good at camping and making games last 20 minutes if you really are inclined. Let me show you what that looks like. Off we go. All right. Maybe this will be the map that really defeats us. Hello, Ace. He run and he walk. He doesn't have spin boost ready. It would be nice if I could do that without stepping bug, right? What can this man do here that's super insane? I'm going up. Unless this is Adam. It is. No, Adam. Where's my knight going? The hell did he go? Oh, nice window. They can see through this wall, by the way, this glass. That's really good. That's actually really good. Don't have that heart, please. Uh, Adam left a long time ago. No pilot safe? That would be huge. If they don't get this. Don't hear nothing? That's really good, chat. All these gens are really hard to do next to him. Let's go real quick. That gent's not worth kicking. Want a buff? I would say not worth kicking either. Oh, this is definitely worth kicking. They have it like below 90. Remember, the first camp, I can use two of these jailers because I have two of them in a row. Look at that detection, dude. How can someone unhook? Like, without. 
Okay, this time I'm gonna set this for the gen, and I'm just gonna do this myself. If they're smart, they send the obsession. If they're not aware, then they don't send the obsession and they're in trouble. Because the exchange will be kind of brutal. Let's say it was fast, right? 24 seconds of delay. Obsession comes. I body block them. I fail to body block them. I... Oh! Oh, lovely! Let's go! Uh, I don't know about this, though. Oh, oh, please don't have a window there. He did have a window there, but he didn't see it. That's fine. Uh, where do I want to hook chat? I want to go outside. I want to be in terror radius of that gen, so they might miss the thing. Yeah, come on, Mr. Merciless, Mr. Merciless. That gen was 90, and they're still not a Merciless. Did they miss it? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, just two gens, guys, just two gens. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's so evil, dude. And I can kind of time it, right? I can time it a bit. Uh, at this point, I think they would heal. Let's just make an annoying patrol. Oh, nice one. Where? Oh, Nia. You are troublesome. That gen was also nicely progressed. I think this is trouble for you, though. Yeah, she understands she's gonna get hit. That loop would be good, but not against this killer, I guess. She needs to fall forward. And she can't. She has a window here. A dead heart, maybe. Dead heart in a dream. They missed another Merciless. Nice. So, right now they're gonna start to run out of people that can unhook safely, if that makes any sense. Oh, that's... Oh, chat. That's really good news. That's uh, Ash up there. Let's push them out. Maybe they go through the back. They don't go through the back. Let's not drop through the window. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Let's keep this thing. <gasps> reassurance? No reassurance. You see how annoying it is, right? Like, they really need to have some perks to counter this playstyle and they need to do decent teamwork. Or else they're probably dead. A few seconds to get an assassin back? That's perfect, dude. That's the best one we could have for this area. Get him detected? Oh! What? Where is he going? What? Yeah, the perfect one, Chad. The perfect one. I'm so smart. That is so dumb. This should have happened 10 seconds ago. And now he's... Yeah, f*** off. F*** off, game. That was actually super mega screwed up. Sorry, just in case he dead hard did it somehow. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Yikes, dudes. That was terrible. Could have lost the game if... If that happens at a critical enough time. Overcharge? That gen was uh, above 90, chat. Remember, it was above 90 because we know that they triggered Merciless. Oh, another Merciless over there, by the way. And now it's below 50 or slightly above 50. Adam needs to be super smart and come and get me. That might not be good enough. Oh, <gasps> he hit the guy! No, no way! Stall? She can't work on that gem for those couple seconds, I guess. I think another stall is coming. Oh, no, she's running at us. She's running at us herself. Ah, dude. Make it impossible for Adam? <gasps> That's so unlucky! Yikes. Sorry, dudes. <laughs> the hook trading camp for night is unstoppable. 
Uh. Our stack? Dude, we're chilling. Like, who is going to unhook Adam? Adam himself? Actually, he might. <laughs> because he has an Adam perk. Well, we'll stop that if that happens. Yeah, if someone comes to the unhooks, I'll, I'll get them back, I guess. There's two bloods here. Well, to be fair, now I can't use my power here if I'm using it for camping. Oh! Nice, good job, dudes. Generally could have... Uh, deliverance. If he has deliverance, dude, they're actually... I'm not gonna say in a good spot, but... They're thriving. They're thriving a bit. Does he have deliverance, though? I don't know. We're about to find out, I think. I think. <laughs> uh, does he have deliverance, chat? Does he have deliverance? He does not have deliverance. Oh my god, that was a fast boy. What the hell? This guy's dead. Are you using a decent build? You tell me. We've been using this build for the last eight games or so. It's very unconventional, but like it achieves something that like you see pretty much every game. Camping and just aggressive gen patrol, I guess. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yeah, who's not dead? I have no idea. Um, all right, they've broken my three chain a little bit to be fair. They could win this. I just need to be pretty bad in the next chase, I suppose. Please find her face up. Nice. All I need to do is just follow him now after this kick. Yeah, that's good. Let's see if he turns left, right. We follow, we follow, we follow. She might have had a good spot there for all we know. There she is. Missed the skill check from overcharge. Minus 15, you know, that takes some 20 seconds. Perfect. He's about to run out and then we deploy another guy. She's dead. Literally dead. Unless she dead hearts like a god. No, she can't. You going to sleep? At some point, yeah. Every day I do sleep a bit. Nice tradition, I guess. Second? Maybe second. No, she's dead. The only person that's on second is Ace. Oh, surprising. They fought this really well, Chad. What do you think? I think they played this fairly well. They just kind of got kinked in the nuts a bit by all these stupid perks. Nice window. Wait, he's low vaulted? This first happening for free. Is it? Sorry. Was wary of light or something. I think we got him, chat. So, Knight is officially the best camper? Not necessarily, but he is pretty good at multitasking, camping gens and hooks, which other killers typically have to make a decision about. Oh, I don't know if other killers can camp gens and hooks as nicely. Uh, it could be that Knight has a bit of a new factor to him that makes people more afraid of guards than they should be. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe he has a bit of intimidation to it that makes people respect the patrols a bit more. The ace was 100% here. I did not click. I did not command the guards to do that. But, uh, I was going to, but does it automatically sometimes. I think it's a bug. Uh oh. <laughs> I wanted to. I wanted to give it to him. <laughs> That's so funny. He did not even go in the hole. I guess. I guess connection. Oh. Uh. Oh, how to they tacked? 
Oh. Uh, Nia making another person look more sane. What a what a day.